Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to practice our model skill by creating another product designer. Today, we're going to create a sofa. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and let's go to class! Let's start by creating a box. I will use the measurements. Center the skin and convert it to editable poly. Let's select the edge to create the metal part. Right click to select the create shape option. Now I will insert two loops with the edge connects. One on the front and the other on the side of the box. Let's select the two bottom edges and click Create Shape. I will isolate the selection only on the lines we created. In the first one, we will go to the Vertex mode, select all the vertices and click on Fillets. I will use the value of 20 to around the edges as in the reference. Let's do the same on the other line. Once that is done, I will enable Render in Viewport and add the thickness to the line. Do the same on the other line and convert everything to editable poly. Now let's position this part a little forward. With the boolean in the join options, we will join the lines. We convert it to editable poly and apply a weld to all the vertices to ensure that we don't have duplicate vertices. In add mode, we will add new loop to adjust your mesh. With the target weld, we weld the points and in the lower part, I will use the vertex connect to connect the points. Let's do the same in the other part. Now, we will select the edges and apply a chamfer. Here, I use the add constraint to position these vertices further back. The same in these vertices. Once that is done, let's add some loops. I will select some ads to add the loops with the edge connect. Finally, we will add open subdivide modifier and we will see that the metal part is ready. I will return to the face mode. We will select this face and apply a detach with the clone option enabled. We use this face to create the upholstery. We change the color to make it easy to see and apply a shell to give thickness to our piece. add an edit poly and in add mode we will move the lines in this part of the metal part using the edge constraint. Just select the lines and drag on the corresponding axis. We do this to smooth this corner. Now we reduce the size of this piece on both sides. Finally, we add a chamfer to the edges and the open subdivide modifier. For our last piece, I will use a box. We will create it following your reference. We cover it to editable poly. In add modes, 
I will select all of them and apply a chamfer to around the corners. In vertex mode, we apply a weld to weld the derby points. Now, we adjust the model as a whole so that it fits better with the part from all view angles. Let's decrease the scale on the y-axis and apply an Obsolivit modifier. I'm going to return to the top part and increase the thickness a little. Just select the shell and increase its value. To finish, I'm going to decrease the overall height of the model. I'm going to select this part and lower it a little. Let's do the same with the metal part. Just go back to editable poly and select this part of the model and position it below. I'm going to adjust this part a little downward and invert the colors of the parts. And that's it. The model is finished. I hope you enjoy the content. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.